One woman's vision has grown into something really big and potentially life changing. A dedication ceremony was held today for the late founder of East Stroudsburg University's Northeast Wildlife DNA Lab, which as of this month tests ticks for free. Eyewitness News reporter Brianna Strunk joins us live in East Stroudsburg tonight with more. Brianna. Well, Nick, this has become the leading center for Lyme disease research in the entire northeastern United States, testing more than 56,000 ticks to date. It's an important resource for Pennsylvania residents, especially this time of year. These 500 plus pins represent the number of tick orders the Northeast Wildlife DNA Lab has received in just the last week and a half. We're the center of, of Lyme disease in the, in the country, really eastern Pennsylvania, and we're expecting a, a huge tick year because of the environmental conditions and, and the moisture. Dr. Jane Huffman founded this growing facility in 2005. She worked in East Stroudsburg University's biology department. And she left an enormous uh, legacy. She trained over 150 graduate students in our department and exposed them to so many different areas of her her research. She passed away in 2017 at age 64 after a hard fought battle with breast cancer. Jane uh, uh, was always eager to encourage and sponsor uh, the wonderful people that you have here. Nicole Chinese is the lab's current director. She says the lab recently received a $500,000 state grant, which allows Pennsylvania residents to have ticks tested for free. Before the grant took effect earlier this month, people had to pay out of pocket. The ultimate goal of this is not only to provide the resident with early detection of exposure to a disease, but also to track across the state the distribution of what tick species we're seeing and the diseases that are within them. And that basic free testing covers four tick-borne diseases, but you can always order a more comprehensive panel, which will cost a subsidized price. Live in East Stroudsburg, Brianna Strunk, Eyewitness News. Uh, Brianna, thank you. And Dr. Huffman's loved ones and colleagues say that she would be overwhelmed and proud of her lab today.